Hello everyone and welcome to another news coulomb video. I'm charging at 350 kilowatts. I'm charging at a 350 kilowatt charger. Yeah, that's better. I'm here at the Electrify America site in Dunnigan. It just went live. Yeah, I was able to uh, get this uh, 350 kilowatt charger here active, maxing out the Bolt EV at a little over a uh, 50 kilowatts and it's good that this is uh, up and running because I sort of ran my battery a little bit low uh, with the intent of coming here to charge. Just a rundown of this charger site though as I'm charging. It's got four charging units. Three of them have two CCS heads. One of them has a CCS head and a Chatamo head. There are two 350 kilowatt chargers and 250 kilowatt chargers. The Chatamo head, though, on the on one of the 150 kilowatt chargers, it is limited to 50 kilowatts right now. Uh, it might eventually get bumped up to 100 kilowatts. This is a really good location. It's just off of the freeway, just north of the Interstate 5 and Interstate 505 interchange. It's a good stopping off point for people coming you know heading out north from the bay area but it's also a really good spot for people heading north from sacramento or the central valley and likewise it's a really good spot for people in northern california who are heading south this does a pretty good job of bridging the gap between redding and sacramento but even still from here to redding it's a bit of a drive and uh Electrify America actually does have another charger going in in a town called Willows. Uh, that's about 50, 60 miles north of here. And then, of course, you have other chargers along the uh, interstate corridor, like charge point chargers. One more of the Electrify America is currently being built in Wairika as well, just south of the Oregon border. So these are going in really fast, and I think they're all going to be this four charger configuration. I do wish that Electrify America would reconsider how they're configuring these. Now, I know, you know, they have it set up so it can uh, provide a plug to multiple different vehicles, but, or vehicle types or configurations. But my point isn't that. These chargers, all of them right now, the 350 kilowatt chargers, the 150 kilowatt chargers, hardware wise, they are capable of power splitting. It's not that difficult of a thing to do. For the foreseeable future, no vehicles are really going to be charging at faster than 150 kilowatts. So having like the 350 kilowatts chargers especially be able to power split well, I think that's going to be really important. But if you do that, you want to make sure that two vehicles can actually access that charger at the same time. And the physical layout of these sites restricts that. So essentially, no matter what you do, no more than four vehicles can actually physically access this four charger spot. You'd have to set up these sites. And the easiest way I could see to do it is keep this current configuration, however, add two charging spots between each one of these two islands. So essentially what you do is you have the 150 kilowatt charger. It's straddled on either side by two parking spaces. There's another parking space. Then there's this 350 kilowatt charger in this configuration, which is then straddled by those two parking spaces. And so this four charger unit here would actually take up eight parking spaces. Obviously, there'd be additional island room in between the charging spaces. But I think that would be a much more efficient layout for the sites. It would set up the sites so that it would enable power splitting in the future. And you're really able to charge eight cars simultaneously, most of which will be charging at their peak rate uh, rather than right now being limited to to only four cars being able to charge at a time so even if you're going to put in a bunch of these highway spots it would be nice to actually have them configured to service as many vehicles as you know they can they possibly can so that's just my little bit of feedback for electrify america but otherwise site location it's it's a, it's a great layout 
Uh, they had to install a transformer. It was pretty funny. I was literally checking Yolo County's uh, permitting and inspection process the moment um, I saw that these chargers went live. Uh, Electrify America actually gave me a call because I had uh, asked to be put on a call list, and you can do that too. Uh, call into them and see if they can put you on a call list uh, to let you know when the chargers in your area that you're interested in go online. And of course, you know, despite all of the other ways in which these are going to make travel through California far more efficient and far faster, Electrify America is going to be doing an app-based payment process. I had to struggle to get this 350 kilowatt charger working just now, and the charger is working just fine. It was the payment receptacle that kept running into an error. It would reject my card, then it would try to process the payment, but then it wouldn't stop processing the payment by the time the charger itself reset. So it sort of locked you out of reinitiating a new charge session. And hopefully it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, I mean, right now I'm just under $12 for almost uh, 28 kilowatt hours. That's not a great rate, but the way things have been going price-wise with uh, DC fast chargers, public fast charging, even the supercharger network for Tesla, uh, it, it's not that bad. And um, right now, you know, I'm having to charge up a little bit more than I would normally. Power is out up at our property. Uh, I guess a telephone uh, pole went down and I also have to account for the fact that if we have some localized flooding, I might need to take a detour, which could take me 40 or 50 miles out of the way. So I need to make sure I, I'm juiced up really good. Uh, but I'm really happy about this charger. It should open up a lot more travel possibilities for other people. So yeah, just over 40 minutes and we've added a uh, 35 and a half uh, kilowatt hours, so go ahead and stop. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. It helps me go explore around these chargers and give you guys updates. And uh, thank you for watching.